The first section of Annex A is A4, which is to do with security policy. So what are the requirements related to putting together an information security policy? In fact, this is the sort of shortest section of Annex A, or of the section one of Annex A, because it has only two clauses. One that says you shall document an information security policy, and a second which says then you shall review it and keep it up to date. That's not much of a challenge. The question is, however, what do you put into your information security policy? And that's where most organisations stumble the first time that they're looking at 27001. Because you probably have never put one together and nobody in the organisation is experienced in putting one together. And that's where you turn to the supporting document, ISO 27002, which is immensely valuable because it actually has an entire page and a half of advice, of guidance, of suggestions of things that you should put in your information security policy. So if you're trying to write a policy to meet the requirements of A4, then go and look at 27002 and you'll find a wealth of suggestions. The security policy is the foundation of the entire ISMS. It's a demonstration of senior management's commitment to the ISMS and it, in broad terms it communicates what the commitment is to information security and what the obligations are both for management and for all employees. Um, it should be communicated to all employees, it should be made available and it should be reviewed at regular intervals so that it's still current to the needs of the organisation.